What is going on everybody? Today I have a little bit of a different video than usual. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can play Brawl Stars on your computer. You'll be completely able to play with your mouse and keyboard without having to do too much. I am also making this video as a result of seeing somebody else make a very similar video a couple of days ago. They have a really good tutorial on how to do this, but there were a few things in their video that whenever I did this method I noticed that I did not have to do, and I did notice a couple of people in the comments kind of struggling in certain areas, so I figured that I may as well go ahead and make a video showing the method that I used, just in case that one ends up working a little bit better for those of you that had trouble with the other video. But without any further delay, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Alrighty, we are over to our computer, and the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and pull up bluestacks.com. I will have the link down in the description if you would rather click on that instead. But once you guys do get here, you want to scroll down just a little bit to this box that has the different versions in it, and you're going to look for the Pi 64-bit one. And once you find that, go ahead and click on download. It should have you save the file. It might have pop up something a little bit different depending on what browser you use, but you should be able to either save it or run it. For me, I do have to go ahead and save. I have my download here at the top in this little arrow. I have a couple of different versions here because I was practicing before making this video, but you want to go ahead and just click on the one that you have. It should just open up the installer. If it asks you if you want to allow this app to make changes, go ahead and just click on yes. Once you do that, you should get this window here saying to install. You can click here and change the install location if you want to or need to. I do recommend just going with the default path. It would be the easiest if you are able to do that. And once you have the location figured out, go ahead and click on install. And then depending on what kind of computer you have, this could end up taking a little while, but it shouldn't be too bad. Alrighty, once that finishes up, it should open up automatically, but just in case it doesn't, you should have a couple of icons on your desktop now. You're going to want to click on the one that says Bluestacks X or Bluestacks 10. Once you've clicked on Bluestacks X, you should get a window that looks a little bit like this. If you do want to make things a little bit easier to look at or full screen, uh, you can go ahead and hit this top square up here that says Maximize. I don't recommend hitting this full screen box to the right side just yet because there are a few things in the side panel that we're going to have to mess with. And actually speaking of that, before we get into downloading Brawl Stars or anything, I'm going to have you guys go ahead and come down to this little settings cog down here. And this is going to be where we're going to change all of the settings that I have for Brawl Stars to make it run the best as possible. The first tab that you're going to end up on is going to be performance. And honestly, you should be able to leave both of these boxes completely alone. Just leave them default. I didn't have any trouble doing this myself. If you do get into Brawl Stars here in a little bit and you notice that it's kind of choppy and laggy, you could try lowering these a little bit. There's no real guarantee that this is going to fully help you, but hopefully the default option should work pretty well. I do recommend checking high performance for this one you could try balanced if you were running into some of those issues that i was mentioning but per high performance should be the best one now moving right along down to frame rate brawl stars is actually capable of supporting 120 fps but by default i'm pretty sure the blue stacks option is most likely going to be set to off and set to 60 but if you do have a monitor that is capable of doing more than 60 fps go ahead and enable high frame rate and then the max that you really want to take it to is going to be 120. i do believe that is the highest that brawl all stars uh, supports you can try a little bit higher and maybe you'll notice some kind of difference but I'm pretty sure that 120 is the best that we can do at this moment and for these other two options definitely go ahead and make sure vsync is not on and you can enable FPS if you want to in game but I don't really think that it's too important now moving right down to the display option if you do have a monitor with a different resolution from 1080 you can pick any of these options but for the most part I imagine people are probably going to end up on the 1920 by 1080 moving down to pixel density I have never had an issue being on 240. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what this option does. If, if you do end up with some choppy or laggy gameplay, you could try changing these. Again, I haven't really fiddled with them too much, but 240 has been very decent for me. Cursor style is completely up to you guys. You can change it if you want to. I just leave it default. And the interface scaling should be good on 100% as well. And moving right along to graphics settings, your guys' might be a little bit different from mine by default, but I do go ahead and use the OpenGL one. As far as interface renderer I slap that on auto hardware decoding for the ASTC textures and if you do happen to have a gaming computer you can enable it to use your GPU I do have mine enabled so that does help out a little bit I've never really tried playing blue stacks without a dedicated graphics card but you might be able to make it work but I'm not entirely sure on that moving down to game settings we don't currently have any games installed so there's nothing there for now but whenever we do get brawl stars here in a little bit you could make it to where every time you launch brawl stars it is automatically launches it in full screen you don't have to do it yourself. On to devices, you should be able to leave most all 
of this stuff on default. I don't think you should have any problems there. Moving down to gamepad, if all you're playing is Brawl Stars, you can just go ahead and click this off. You don't have to have a controller enabled. It's kind of hard to get a controller to work with it, but if you do end up playing other games, you could click this on and make your controller work with them. Moving down to preferences, I think by default, your guys' might look a little bit different from mine, but I do go ahead and turn the Discord connection off. You guys can leave it on if you want to. I just imagine that it maybe helps it a little more if it doesn't have to worry about connecting to Discord. I do have it to where it creates desktop shortcuts for apps after install, makes it easier to find Brawl Stars. You can turn off this ask for sign in if you don't want to have to like be asked each time. I don't really have a, too much of an issue with it though. Android sound while clicking on things is totally up to you guys. I turned it off though because I don't really like hearing it over and over. Allow Bluestacks to show ads during gameplay. I highly recommend you guys turning this one off. It will ask you if you are sure if you want to turn them off and you can go ahead and click yes and there won't be any problems there. It's really annoying having that stuff pop up and like move your screen around. So I highly recommend turning that off for sure. And the last thing we need to talk about here is the exit full screen escape key behavior. By default, whenever you hit escape, it does just take you out of full screen. But if you turn that off, you can essentially use it as a back button for some games. So that one's totally up to you guys. I kind of like having it on so I can easily get out of full screen if I need to but the option to make it a back button is there for you guys that want it. As far as the phone option goes, I'm honestly not entirely sure how much this changes, but here are the two options that I picked. They have served me pretty well so far. Moving on to the shortcuts option, there are a ton of different shortcuts that you can use if you are interested in fiddling with that. I don't really use many of these myself, but there are some good ones, so I definitely recommend scrolling through these and seeing if any of these could be of benefit to you. And as far as these last three options, there's nothing else that is really too important, but there is a check for updates box here on the about section so hopefully that might help you guys out sometime if you ever need to do an update but as far as settings goes you might have to uh, restart especially whenever you're changing some of these options it probably had you restart all the blue stacks but the next time that you turn it on all these should be saved and you won't have to do this ever again already go ahead and click on the top right x here to get back to your home page and now that we have got all of our settings figured out we have restarted blue stacks we are feeling good go ahead and click on the app center over here to the left and once you load that up go ahead and type in brawl stars into the search and click enter and looks like we gotta sign in already go ahead and sign in with your google account if you don't have one you might have to go ahead and make one but you do have to have one to download games but you'll be able to log in with your brawl stars account once we get it downloaded Alrighty, once you get signed in it should just instantly take you to the brawl stars page go ahead and click on install there might take just a little bit depending on how good your internet is but it's not too terribly big of a download luckily all right once we have that installed you can click on play here or if you just want to see what the home page now looks like you do have your Brawl Stars icon there. You can just click on that and it should load you straight up. Alrighty, once you load up Brawl Stars for the first time, unfortunately, it's going to make you do this tutorial right off the bat. Now, it is trying to get me to pull on the joystick over here with my mouse, but straight off the bat, I do have keyboard support. I'm using WASD right now to move Shelly around. Just kind of doing a little wiggle here with them. You can kind of just run around and do what you got to do. It is going to force you to unfortunately do all of this tutorial, so just run through that really quickly. Hopefully, you are able to easily use your keyboard and mouse. And again, it's going to try to get you to drag to aim and stuff, but you should be able to hold right click to shoot. It's not too terrible, a little bit easy to get used to, and luckily this isn't too long. So now it is trying to get me to do auto aim, and for that, by default, you're going to hit space bar. Alright, she is trying to get us to drag to aim, but instead of having to do that, you can simply hold E, and you can still aim your stuff around, and then just let go of E to shoot. And then there you go. So I'm going to end up having you make a name for your brawler before you can sign in. I'm just going to slap something in here random. We are very old today. Uh, I'll go ahead and accept all of this stuff, and it looks like they're going to try to force me to do a showdown match real quick, so unfortunately I am going to have to run through that really quick, but luckily it, that's also not too terribly long, and there's a bunch of bots, so it shouldn't be too bad. Alrighty, once you have completed the tutorial, you'll be here on this blank screen, you'll have your name up in the top left up there, but if you do want to go ahead and sign into your actual account first, you'll simply just go up to this top right corner, scroll down here to the Supercell ID option, it's going to say a few things to you at first, and then once you get to this uh, login screen, you just simply log into your Supercell account, and everything from your usual phone will be onto Bluestacks. I'm not going to be signing in on this one since I'm going to be using this as a tutorial, and I want you guys to be able to see the default stuff and then what I change it to. But first thing, before we can actually fully play, there's one more thing that we really need to do, and so you're going to want to go ahead and click on Shelly, click on her again. Okay. And then you'll hit try and then you're going to want to go to the training grounds this is going to be so we can change our controls and get things a little bit better feeling 
Alrighty, before we change our BlueStacks controls, we are going to go ahead and edit the in-game controls. So click down here at the bottom. Once you have this screen here, a couple of things that I like to do is moving my movement stick down. I also make it really small and I just kind of move it to the corner so it's out of the way. You can lock it if you want to. I don't really think that's overly necessary, but it does kind of change how it feels a little bit. And I also like to change the size of my emotes and everything. And you can really put these anywhere that you want to. I like having it up and out of the way so I don't ever accidentally click on it, but that is totally up to you. As far as your attack options, you are going to want to move them to where they have a decent amount of space. You can make them all smaller because it doesn't really matter. You don't have to be super accurate with hitting it because you are going to be able to assign a button to hit all these things. So moving these around is honestly mainly a preference thing, completely up to you, just how you guys want your game to look and feel. And once you have all that stuff figured out, you're going to go ahead and just click save at the top. And then your in-game stuff should be set. No more having to worry about that. Moving on to what's next though is on the sidebar over here, you're going to look Look for the little keyboard option should say game controls and once you've clicked that keyboard you're going to want to turn on the on-screen controls it should pop up a bunch of little letters and stuff showing you like what button that you have to hit in order to make stuff happen okay so once these are turned on you can't quite edit them yet you do need to come down here to controls editor go ahead and click on that one it should pop up a bunch of crazy looking stuff that is okay though i believe these giant circles you can just kind of move them out of the way just to make it a little bit easier to see you don't have to worry about that you don't have to worry about tab either what you do want to make sure that you move is this wasd you want to kind of try to line it up to where they're all right in the middle of your circle That'll keep it to where whenever you're hitting WASD, you can actually move the way you're wanting to. And then anything else that you had moved in game, you just want to try to line up the button that corresponds to it right on top of it. So there's no missing it. All right, I have got everything lined up and perfectly on top of the action that I want it to do. Once you have everything lined up how you like it, go ahead and click save over here in the bottom right. And then you can click this X up at the top to get out of the controls editor. And then before we test it out, let's click on the keyboard one more time and turn off the on-screen controls and then now we should be able to just click back into the game and we're running around i see the wasd thing working over there perfectly she is going exactly where i want her to we'll try to hit q to turn my hyper on we'll hit e to do the super yep everything is working perfectly if the controls do feel a little bit weird you can try the locked control movement and see if that makes things feel a little bit tighter for you Honestly, it does actually kind of feel pretty good turning that on. So if it did feel a little bit wonky to you at first, definitely try the locked controls. Just make sure that you do go into that uh, editor, like for blue stacks, and make sure that you line up your WASD over there in the bottom left, or it will be off and it will feel weird. But alrighty guys, that is pretty much the complete tutorial for getting Brawl Stars on your computer. There were just a couple of things that I did differently from the tutorial that has recently came out. Big props to that guy though. This method should allow you to not have to download any kind of keyboard programs and it should be pretty quick and easy to set up hopefully. But if you guys do have any trouble at all with this, please be sure to comment down below and I will try my best to help troubleshoot you guys wherever you ended up having issues at. But that is when I have to go ahead and do it for now though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that getting it running on your computer was super easy and you guys are having a lot of fun with it. But that is it for me for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like, maybe even a sub, and I will talk to all of you in the next one. See ya.